And exactly hustling, hustling every day. I'm hustling. I, I, that's exactly See what the I'm music saying? I was thinking. We got of. music, dog. Oh, because you got, shoot because you sing it. Okay? It's always in my head. Hey, well, happy Sunday night. I hope everybody's doing good. First uh, weekend of Super Bowl. Sup- Super Bowl. No, a uh, football. Sorry, Thank NFL you. football. Jeez, and, you're and living I, in the future. You know, I'm watching. Again. I'm watching. Uh, who was I watching tonight? I watched Green you Bay. You watched and San the Francisco. Dolphins. Hello. That game was unbelievable. My New Orleans Saints won. Holla. Yeah, and uh, this is Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone on Twitter. I'm at Grant Cardone. She's at Elena Cardone. Some of you that have been following the show, maybe you know uh, Candy. You want to tell them about Candy, what happened with Candy? I told you, Candy had a family situation. She's out of town for a while. We don't know when she's going to return. She has to take care of a family member. And so I stepped in in her place, thus the G and E show. That's right. No more was born. Around. The G and E show. This is a pre-show to the Cardone Zone, uh, where we talk about business career Sunday nights on News 96.5. I'm happy to have my wife here. I'm happy to be working with her. And I was asking Elena on the way over here today. I said, you know, what is this? What is this show? And why are we doing it? You want to tell them what? What? Uh, yeah, because I wanted to. Uh, the reason I think we're doing this is because we we're doing it as a team, as a couple and um representing the family and how the family unit works yeah and and and, uh, even and, though we, and, and, and yeah. like the the woman kind of behind the man with the man whatever and there's things that go on in daily life that um you know it's interesting sometimes yeah so and and we also pull for couples you know people that are working together whether you're married or not married Whatever your deal is, we know how hard it is. I mean, it's difficult. Families. And even though Elena doesn't work with me every day in the real estate or in the uh, the book company. The day-to-day the, operations. The, 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 the training, the consulting, the speaking. She doesn't work in the day-to-day operations. However, let's face it, the wife, the spouse is the one that hears about everything at the end of the day. When I come off the road for three days, like I just got back from Vegas and uh, San Diego, you know, and I'm exhausted, I'm beat. Who I'm hears sound, about I'm it? the sounding board. Dude, she is the sounding board. Sometimes sometimes it hits the board. Sometimes it bounces off the board. Sometimes it hits the board, and then I get all this advice I don't want. Maybe you know about that. This is Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone. You're sometimes the it hits show. the board, and the board responds with a face, and you're like, what is that? And do you want to tell them uh, about Miss Sounding Board? You know board? what I want to talk about Do you want to really tell them about quickly? whatever it takes? I do want to talk about whatever it takes, but I I want you to say about this 10X. When are you doing this 10X seminar here? 10X seminar we're doing in Orlando, Florida on October the 3rd. And how much are the tickets? Mel Robbins taught me into doing it, okay? I love Mel. So those of you who've been following me for years. Mel Rocks. Mel Robbins, super media genius. And so those of you that know me. Hot chick badass. Go on. Yeah, that have gone to my seminars for years. uh, Mel taught me into doing the 10X seminar for $99. What? Okay, and you know I think I'm regretting it a little bit, but so far we have about a hundred people coming. Oh, uh, get good. your tickets now. We, we're we're providing them for ninety nine dollars. Um, I could afford that. That that's early bird seating. I'm I'm trying to convince everybody to change the price here before long. Uh, Paul Potrats is going to be there. Jason Mudd, advertising gurus, both of them. Uh, Paul does unbelievable stuff with retargeting. Jack Jack and Telly runs a billion dollar business is going to be there. No way. Uh, and I'm working on a couple other business experts to be there to blow your business up. Coach Burt is flying in. Y'all love Sweet. Coach Burt. I got Polly and Tony here. You know, th- these guys behind the camera. They say they want to be behind the camera, but I don't think so. I think they want to be right there up there with me. Mm-hmm. So anyway, October the 3rd. 10x seminar and where is it going to be do we know it's going to be orlando florida yeah we picked a location elena okay. i love that all about right. you all we right. picked a location we actually decided let's pick a location rather than having people show up to random places <laughs> orlando hilton hotel 10x seminar the seminar is about what you need to do in your business to 10x your business to blow your business up to make your business work to expand it grow it on Sunday nights, that's what I talk about with News 96.5, and they've convinced me, News 96.5, Mel Robbins, I brought together a team of experts. Uh, Elena will probably be there with me, so she oh, can, yeah, I she can, can sign, get, you can get yeah. your picture taken with Miss Elena. And um, 
Uh, we're going to be there all day talking about what you have to do. What are the business blocks? What's in your way? What's keeping you from expanding? Are you staying small? And really look at those things that might be keeping you from getting where you want to be. I know I spent the first probably five years of my career staying small. And I, and I wish I would have known what I know now about growing my business. Okay, lastly, is there a cutoff? Of the yeah, the cutoff of is cutoff is get your ticket, get your ticket because I want to meet you. I want to blow later. you up. I want to blow right. Orlando up. I want to blow you up. We got people already flying in from all over the country, so uh, be there tonight on uh, the Cardone Zone. I'm gonna be talking about business leadership, decision making, minimum wage, your careers, your finances. But I know you want to talk before we leave here tonight about. I want to talk about the show, whatever, whatever it, it takes. takes. Which you're casting yeah. right now. People are sending in videos to be on your show. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Do they, you want to tell them the premise? Well, whatever it takes is because I am, I have, you know, when we moved to Miami, we, we uh, advertised for, for every kind of people. position. You moved your entire office. Right. Over here. Uh, yeah, exactly. But we, not everybody I, made it over. Sh Sherry put something in Cra on Craigslist. And I think it got 800 hits or something. We needed translators, receptionists, graphic so, designers. Social media, website designers, we needed more some graphic super people. super freaks. Awesome. We need managers, greatness. salespeople, sales managers, social media people, writers, translators. I still need those people. Out of 800 people, Elena, do you know how many we hired? No. Out of 800, we hired two. One of them's still here. I'm looking at him right now. Pixel. Polly Pixel. What is it? Pimp. Pixel Pimp. Pixel Pimp Polly on Twitter. Pixel Pimp Polly. He does all our graphics. He popped up this G&E show thing for me. I think he did a great job on that. Um, and he's the only one with me. So I'm frustrated with finding great people. I'm sick of finding average people, loafers, people that don't want to do the deal. We found some great people here, and we got some great people working for us. But I decided that I'm going to create a TV show called whatever it takes i'm producing the show myself okay i'm not going to the networks it's not sold yet we don't know where it's going to land trust me i will sell the show and we're going to go i'm we're going to go out the series what's going not on, just Tony? like a pilot here yeah, huh i said we're shooting a whole series oh no not we're not shooting a pilot. a pilot i just shot a pilot in la yeah, we, we don't, and another we don't group do did, pilots anymore. another group's like hey man i don't know about you know we're not going to pick it up so they're going to sell it to somebody else i'm like dude i'm done with this i'm going to shoot my series if it takes six, 13, 26, or 100, dude, Netflix, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep dropping content. It's going to be a show about where we give people an opportunity to get a great job, not apprentice, but think like this, the think apprentice, apprentice, think apprentice and fear factor mm -hmm. have a baby and that baby has sex with pumped. Like Dude, candy. that's sick. This is Grant Cardone. And then they have whatever it takes. This is okay. Grant Cardone. You're in the G and E show now. I'm on Twitter at Grant Cardone. If you're following me right now, let me know. Uh, Elena Cardone is Elena Cardone, and Cardone Candy is just gone. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, so this week I have been behind the scenes, and I've been filming a lot of your staff asking them s several questions. Mm. One of the questions that interested me the most was a question I asked, which is, is Grant nice? Is Grant nice? Is Mr. Cardone nice? Uh, and um, what, what was the consensus? I would expect everybody said, nah, not really. No, everybody actually did say you were really nice, which actually shocked me. And, and then I was like, the, okay, guys, they don't, they you don't know what nice know means. That so. you are, I'm just asking the question. I'm not Grant Cardone's wife right now. You can really tell me the real deal. It's not going to get to him. But you know what? Here, here's, here's what I do know about you, okay? I started thinking about this a lot, and I'm like, you know what? Nice, as much as I hate that word nice, because I've always hated that. Oh, that was nice, but like, who wants to freaking be nice? Nice sucks. But in all honesty, I'm actually like a nice person. Like I'm considerate of others. Oh no, you you're, had you're, this, dude, you're super you nice. This. Like I, I, I take people's feelings into consideration. And, and, and a lot of times we've gotten into arguments over this. Like we're going through a department store and you're ransacking clothes and, and I'm going behind you folding everything and, and I'm yelling at you, fold it up because I have all this consideration for everyone. You're like, it's not my job. My job is to buy stuff. Their job's to put it up after me or whatever and, and I just think god that's so rude that's not nice blah blah however this is what I finally came to realize okay we were married four years 
when the recession hit. And when it hit, it was freaking everything went, er, brakes went on hold. Everything was like totally fear, panic. All yeah. the businesses, everything was frozen yeah, up, yeah, money frozen. Yeah. Did you want nice then? No, I did not want nice then. Yeah. However, this is th that's not the part of the story. You you did whatever it takes. You are not nice. You are whatever it takes. Yeah. And, and, and I respect that. But this is what I know about you. And this is when I really, like, you, you know someone when times are tough. And what you did, and I'm, I'm really not sure why you did this, but, but it told me a lot about you. We were working in Los Angeles. You're going to make me cry now. And you took a pay cut well, for well, when you go, two years when you go so to you would not lay one single person off in your office you said when yes, this sir. thing hit you said i'm gonna do whatever it takes yeah i'm not letting anyone go i'm cutting back our pay and and everything went on stop there was no nothing no no shopping sprees no vacations yep, yep, no yep. everything just went on we have got to freaking protect assets and protect our people so so the question then is am i nice i don't know I don't what that nice. was that was see, above and beyond see look I, I looked up the word nice here it says pleasing agreeable delightful no that is not, not you that's me amiable. unfortunately yeah, but it fortunately. is amiable a amiable pleasant kind characterized no, by me. showing or requiring great what does it say here Great accuracy, precision. I didn't even know that was what nice meant. Skill, tact, care, de delicacy. That's that not is me. not you. That Dude, is I'm me. A, I'm not a nice person. You, I'm just not nice. You, but but there is something that you are. Whatever. But that I'm, I'm going to tell you is, something. Let me tell you something. You when the bill collectors come in, I've told you this before, and you're like, oh, why aren't you nice to those people? Why aren't you nice? I said, look. It's like I was at that rug place the other day in Miami. I'm like, look, I want this rug delivered to my house. Oh, we have a restocking fee if you don't like it. I'm like, look, it's a rug on the ground. You put it in a box. You bring it to me. Put it in my car. I'm going to send it back to you. You're going to put it back on the floor again. Oh, there, we have a restocking fee. I'm like, this is ridiculous. You're idiots to do that. That's just dumb. So what did and, we do? We and, went to Macy's and we and, bought a rug that we can return in a week. Well, you killed my story. Oh, shit. Okay? Well, see, that's, see, you know, see, that's what, the benefit. What happened, what happened in that situation is these wife. people are idiots. It, they're idiots. And I'm telling my wife, they're idiots. That's stupid. It's ridiculous. And I'm telling the lady that this is ridiculous. You're going to throw yourself. You're yeah, going to blow you're, yourself you're out say, of business. And he's literally and, saying, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And I'm looking at her behind your back, smiling, going, yeah, and, trying and, to be and, nice. And, and then lady. I got to I got to get this thing from Elena for the next, you know, 15 minutes in the car. You're not nice to people. You don't have to tell people. I'm like, look, they're going to go out of business. So what do we do? We go to Macy's today. I didn't buy anything there. Oh, by the way, I did not. I didn't buy the rug. I didn't buy the desk. I didn't buy the uh, the, 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 six, the sixteen thousand dollars worth of leather sofa. that we were looking at. That's I bought nothing because she wouldn't let me have a hundred and eighty nine dollar rug delivered to my office. So I blew everything out. Now, why am I telling you that? I'm telling you that. Look, folks, you can't pay your bills with nice. You were taught this in schools. You were taught by your parents. Be nice. OK, nice doesn't get it done when the world's coming to an end. And Elena's right. Uh, you know, when the when the recession hit. So, yeah, my, my go ahead. Well, when the recession hit, because I know they were do, we're doing this TV show and we're interviewing our staff. And, and Elena's asking them the other day, hey, are, is Grant nice? And everybody kind of like you can tell they get a little like, uh, no, the answer is no. But everyone in your office does say you are respectful. You're nice. You know what I even heard? Yeah. You always say, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your yeah, work. I yeah, heard that yeah, more than yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, when you do good work, I'm going to tell you, hey, great job. But, but really, ha most of the time, I'm not going to even tell you anything because I expect you to do a great job. When you don't do good work, I'm just going to start ignoring you. And that's when it's going to start feeling like Grant's not nice. Anyway, that's just who I am. Folks, you got to be who you are. But I know this. At the end of the day, if At the end of the day, I'm glad I don't have nice. I'm glad I have uh, a little little that can do whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know what little little is. Yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. And it's it, a, you know, a bad mofo. When it comes down to paying your bills, yeah. you don't need nice. If That's you're taking right. care of your family, you're taking care of your kids, dude, you need to put nice up in some suitcase, bring it out on retirement. Bring it out some other time. All right. And between now and then, get out the hump wagon. Get out the hustle wagon. Get out the pump. Well, I shove, have enjoyed push, being here tonight. I happen. look forward to watching now, I want you to on the Cardone on, Zone. We, bang. We haven't figured it out with whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes is shooting September 16th. Send me a three. Oh, you can keep play, playing that. 
sh- shoot me a three minute video. You do social media, you do internet, websites, Shoot, graphics, writing, translators. Shoot, if you're great, you'll make a spot for them. I, don't I care. know you. Shipping, driver. You want to be my driver? I don't care what you do. I don't care Chef, your color, your anything. race, your religion. I don't care about nothing. You do it. You bring it on. You, you bring be it, great. baby. great. Here's what I want you to do. We Send me a three-minute video. Send a three-minute video to hire me Grant at gmail.com hire me grant at gmail.com and we're gonna possibly have you on the tv show i might reject you i might give you a job but i guarantee i'll give you national attention okay this is grant cardone you're the g and e show thanks for tuning in stay with me because in about five minutes we're going to start our sunday night show with news 96.5 it's grant cardone and elena cardone and hey give up on that being nice pack it up take it out of retirement